Hello, welcome to Texas Style Cuisine. I'm Chef Johnny, and today we're going to show you how we cook up our pork butts. Now, to get started on this, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not doing all the work. Here on the trailer, my son takes care of my pork butts and he takes care of my brisket. So he trims them, he seasons them, he gets them on the pit for me. Uh, he maintains them all night long, uh, watching those pit maker barbecue vaults that we got cooking out there. And uh, he does all that for me. I get up early in the morning, I check everything, kind of rotate it, give a little spritz, and then I finish them off. But he does all the work. So I'm going to back up from here. I'm going to get a close-up on this pork butt and let you see how he takes care of it, how he gets ready to go. We'll get a picture of him putting it on the, on the pit. And then uh, in the morning, we'll show me getting it off the pit. So him and I are going to work together to get you all this pork butt video. So here we go. Let's see us seasoning one up. We're just getting our, our mustard slather on it. And this is just a, a plain old Boston butt. But... Uh, we use a mustard slather, uh, and he's going to do it. We're just cooking one tonight. We'll get a close-up action here. And this is just our barbecue rub that we use. It's uh, one, y'all y'all seen it, we use it on our chickens, we use it on our pork. And really, he, uh, he slathers the sides. He does not slather this back fat side. We cook ours with that fat cap down. And we cook it in a tray, just like we do our briskets. But he's going to get plenty of rub on it. This is a good rub. It's paprika, uh, seasoning salt, regular salt, some sugar, some chili powder, uh, mustard. Heck, I don't remember everything. Garlic, black pepper. But we're going to get in here and show you how we do it. Sometimes we do inject them. Uh, not always. Uh, we've been getting some good. Uh, been getting some good bark doing it this way. Uh, sometimes we will inject them with a 50/50 mixture of Dr. Pepper and uh, apple juice. But if you look, he's just opening up a can of Dr. Pepper, and he pours it right across the top of that uh, pork butt after the rub goes on. So some of the rub comes off and he'll sprinkle a little more just another light coating on top after that happens. And that's he's using his hand to get it on the sides where it sticks and doesn't just fall down. All of it fall off. And there's a close-up of what this thing looks like. I'll kind of come around and show you. And it's just sitting down in a, a bath of Dr. Pepper. You can kind of see it working around in there. And uh, he's going to wash his hands off, I think. And then we're going to take it and get it into the pit. All right, we're going to get this on there. John just opened up the door to the pit maker. Let you all kind of see this pit here. He's sliding it on. we got good smoke coming out. It is going on the second shelf. We do have a barbecue guru. And how hot are you smoking this at tonight, John? 250. About 250. So it's going to be at 250 uh, all night long. When I get up in the morning, I'm going to raise it up to about 275 and uh, let it finish off cooking then. Good morning. It's the next morning. It's uh, about 6 o'clock. So these have been on for about 6, 7 hours. My son's been nursing this pork butt all night long, uh, running about 250 degrees on our barbecue vault. Probably getting a little bit low on charcoal. So I'm gonna check the charcoal on this on this barbecue vault and uh, stoke that fire. And then after I do that, we'll get in this pit and see what it looks like. All right, we're gonna pop this open. I always pull my ass out first. If you've got these new vaults, they don't have this. It's all one unit, but the older ones got an ash pan in them. There we go. And there's our tray. You don't kind of see that, but I'll show this on some other videos. What I do is Guru's talking to me. For some reason. I just push all that back in there. 
get it back out of the way so I can clear this up for new new charcoal. Move my brick over. Make sure there's no embers here. So what I'm doing is I'm continuing the burn. The burn started here, went around the back of the bricks, and came back to here. That's ready to go now for new charcoal. So new charcoal. Alright, we got our few chunks of wood. Fire's ready to go. It's stoked up. And what I do is, is I get this pit tent back up to 275. He's been running that at about 250. That's closed up. Now we get the pit and check out our pork butt. Let's check this out. And here's our pork butt. This pork butt is looking pretty. You can see it's a nice mahogany color. It's looking good, but this pork butt is not ready yet. If I had to guess, it's probably, oh, 175 degrees maybe. I'm just spritzing it with a mixture of apple juice, apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of oil. So, that one's ready to go. It was in there like this, so I'm going to spin it all the way around. I'm going to be moving a few things around in here, so I'm going to put it right there. It's ready to go. There we go. Close that back up. So there you go. We'll go uh, about two hours, and I will I will check the temp on it. It's... Uh, about six right now, maybe shortly after, so about eight o'clock, 7.45, eight, I'll get out here and check them again. Now it's about eight o'clock in the morning, so it's been another two hours. We're gonna see how this pork butt looks here. It's looking pretty good. You can kind of see right here, it's starting to pull away from the bone just a little bit. This is getting close to slicing stage. If you were gonna slice this, it's getting real close right now. It's probably in that 180 degree range right now. But nice little spritz on it. Looks pretty. Your brisket. Let's go ahead and spritz it while we're in here. We'll get this closed back up and probably another hour or so and this, this butt will be ready. We're another hour into this cook so I'm going to check this pork butt out. Let's get this open. See how it's looking. It's got some pretty color on it. It is nice and tender. It actually is uh, there you go, 197. It's soft. If you look at it, you can see this bone. See what's pulling away right there. So that looks good. Nice looking pork butt. We're going to get it off and let it rest. Pork butt's been resting for a couple of hours now, so uh, it's kind of set back up again. It's real hot when you pull it off. It's around that 200 degrees mark because we're going to be pulling a lot of this. Not slice. We, we're going to slice it with it dropped it down about 185, 190. When we took it up there, so you want to let it sit for a little while to regain everything, and all the juices don't run out right when you slice it. But if you look at this butt, it's nice and it's tender. If I can grab this bone, and it just slides right out. So I can kind of come in here and pull the meat off. That still is warm, but pretty clean bone. You always know your pork's cut pretty good, or cooked pretty good if you can pull that out. So now we're going to just slice this for you. Come in here and let's see how it looks, but it's all apart. It's nice. It's juicy. Fantastic looking. Let's see if we can take a little sample here how the pork turned out. Hope you enjoyed that pork butt my son and I fixed up for you. Appreciate you stopping by. You've got some great videos on here. You subscribe, hit that notification button down there so you get a notification. It's a little bell. Hit that bell. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road.
How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen. 